You're going to be famous. You like that? Yeah. Famoso. He's going to be the second Puerto Rican in all of Dubai. And we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with my man Paco Vela of the Dulce Coco. We're sitting here. We're talking about rigging baits for sword fishing. We've got the squid ready. We've got the mackerel ready. You like to put a skirt on all your baits. Yes, sir. Why? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, it makes it swim better. Uh, these slow speeds, like it centers the bait a little bit more. And the other thing, it preserves the bait more. Okay. And actually, if you have a squid messing with it or you had a strike, remember you're really deep down there. You cannot see the bait. So it will perform even if you still have a, 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 a bite that has been beaten. Okay. So you you got a couple of skirts that you like to use and explain to us exactly which skirts, what these skirts are and why you like to use them. Okay, uh, starting from here, this is the slick fish. I use that mostly for belly, uh, for bellies. It makes it straight and long and, and swims great. I have caught a lot of fish on this with the bellies. Okay. These ones we designed it on GT Lure with Greg Tumel. You have a little bit more of an angle, so it sits better on the squid and the mackerel. Okay. And this is the normal squid that are really popular, and we use that in almost every bait, uh, depending on the size. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's put a couple of uh, skirts on it to, sh okay. to show everybody. Start with the mackerel. We just slide this through the mono, and this also closes the mouth a lot, and don't let that uh, bait get too much water. So you want to be sure that, that it sits there. And you just want to push it back. You see how, how good this skirt sits on this face. That won't happen with a skirt that have a waist. That's what I really like, this skirt. And now the, the other thing that you want to do is just stitch it here. You go through the eye of the mackerel, all the way to the other side, and just tie it up there. And you're just securing that scared not to light off when you're fishing. It's gonna stay there. Just cut this and it's ready to go. We do the same thing with the with the squid. We put it there, the same thing. This skirt just sits perfectly on that uh, squid. Look how, how nice it sits. It make it like super hydrodynamic and it will like preserve that squid like Super good. You're gonna need reading glasses soon. Yeah, I know. To get your needle, yeah. thread your needles. So the same thing, you go all the way down and up. And the same thing, you just tie up this here. One important thing in this that we have, you saw that we put the bit, you go behind the bit. Okay. That will also secure the skirt and also secure the bait. So those two baits are ready to go on the water. Both of these are ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to catch a sword. Two swords. Two swords. One bait, two baits. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone. Thank you, Fly.